Hello! Uh, yeah, sorry, that music finishing got me a little bit off guard there. Um, so yeah, welcome to the stream. Um, so, it's going to be a short one today because it's hot and... Uh, so hot. So yeah, you'll notice probably me glistening through this. Uh, and along with out door noises because the windows are open it is so hot today um yeah so we're playing a bit more hacknet um when i can actually get the thing showing on the screen is that it yeah there it is is that showing yeah that's showing okay so um same as last. Ooh. Okay, let's just get my windows windows sorted. Here we go. Here we go. Boom, boom, boom. Um. Organisers ever. <laughs> one day, one day I'll actually be organised. Um. And on that day. Um. Yeah, think things will be interesting. So, do 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 do. do. <laughs> right. Okay. Here we go. Uh, I've got to do this as quickly as possible because window will pop down. Um, okay. So three, two, one, boom, and uh, do. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> See, seeing all the behind the scenes. We can't have that. Ooh, do, do, do. Ooh. Oh, Here yeah. Here we go. Oh, and a follow already straight from from from, uh, from the work start. Okay, so uh, we already did a little bit um, on this the other day. So we're going to continue, uh, and I'm going to have almost immediately forgotten... Yep, I've almost, I've immediately forgotten what I'm doing and what all the codes are. So, um, so, hmm, let's have a look. Right, okay, so, I had a congratulations. Okay, I've got an account. Right, that's it. I need to have a look on these guys' server. I remember right is it this one login boom there we go um so is it contract what's it user listings oh okay okay right interesting interesting uh, i'm guessing it's contracts okay so So we've got investigate a medical record, teach an old dog new tricks. Oh, I think the chair's on the way out. <laughs> it keeps slowly, slowly dropping <laughs> on the hydraulics. Oh dear. Um, locate and create decryption software. Remove a fabricated death row record. Track an encrypted file. Check out suspect suspicious server. Wipe clean an academic record. Uh, compromise uh, the EOS and EOS help aspiring writer add a death row record for a family member Ooh, that's a bit that's a bit dodgy that one oh. um, decrypt a secure transmission from project June bug oh they're all they're locked anyway because I can't do those um, Okay. Let's investigate a medical record. So we need to get a copy of someone's medical record to settle an argument. Okay. I can get rid of that. Clear up that. I'm very tempted to go back actually to get to entropy and do one of their easy ones. Yeah, we're going to do a easy one for now. Um, 
So we'll do the XC project, just so I can remember the, the key commands and everything. So a bit strange, a bit of a strange request on, exceptionally well funded ask for some help in the investigation of co-workers tablet to see if it's being used for any personal matters at work. I cu curiously poke around their system made, it looked like they were obsessed with aliens, might be really dedicated role playing group or a group of conspiracy theorists. All oh, right, I can't do that because I'm assigned to a different faction. Well, that's a bit annoying. Okay, so I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to do these ones then. Okay. Uh, what sounds like the easiest one? Let's do the... Okay, so a potential friend of the group needs a degree added to his resume. Um... I will get the medical records, that sounds like an easy copy copy and paste there. Okay. Hey, so I may or may not have gotten involved in a bit of an internet shout off with someone who's posting clearly photoshopped pictures of... You, need, you know, it doesn't really matter. Look, I need a legit medical record of this guy to settle it all in dramatic fashion. It, I'd get it myself, but uh, I made those intentions pretty clear, and you know how CSEC is with this stuff like that. Anyway, can you help me out? His name is Jonas Sandberg. Um, the medical database has a tool to send records to people. Uh, could you flick a copy to gilla at jmail.com? Okay, so that's where we need to go. That's the information. Okay. Do not worry. We will... Oh, hello. Hmm. Let's probe. There we go. Right, so we got a proxy and a firewall. Okay, let's get our shells up and going then. Um... Who else do we want to use? Let's use this one. Okay, right, we won't do that one then. Um, okay, so we've got two. Free. Okay, that's free. So that should get us in, hopefully. It's just going to be down to my firewall expertise. So, okay, first one of the night. Let's go. Let's get it going. Overload, overload, overload. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, it's with a Z, isn't it? Because it's American. Uh. Uh. Uh, too hot, brain. Uh. Luckily, <laughs> there isn't a timer on this one, so that's useful. Um, oh, I do not want to bother sorting this. Going through this, okay. I'm guessing it's going to be the M, the E. The, the, oh, let's do another. Yeah, so it was. It's it's a, it's the capital capital letters towards the end. Okay, so uh, solve 
So we got M E D I C A uh, T and E. Uh, oh, need to put space in. There we go. So that works. There we go. Um, it's, uh, 21, so we're going to do that on the bounce. How many do I need to get in? Okay, so one. And that's 80. How many more? Do we need to SQ it? Oh. So X is oh, I need more, don't I, to get in? I'd need an SQL server. Mm. Mm. So we've done the Oh, they haven't got an SSH, have they? They've got an SQL. Oh, let's have a look, see. Um, where's our asset server? There it is. Oh, here we go, SQL. Uh, so the SQL memory corruptor injector is a target exploit for public-facing SQL ports. Injects table entry uh, that when read causes uh, memory corruption error in the database, then immediately queries said table causing the immediate SQL database to, to crash and card dump. This will temporarily allow otherwise unauthenticated traffic into the SQL server port uh, before the target OS cleans, blah, blah, blah. Yep, that's what we need. We need that. Um, God, what is it? It's copy. It's... Um, what was it? It's, it's something... It's SCP, isn't it? So... SC... And SQ. That's the one. Let's uh, get that. What's this sequencer? Screw it. Let's get the. Uh, let's get the sequencer while we're here as well. No idea what the sequence is for. I've got the worm. Yeah, I've got that. Um. Got everything else here. Uh, let's, uh, let's remove. Let's remove all of that. Back with the funky music. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. So what were we hacking? These guys. Oh, I hope I don't have to do it all again. No, I don't. Um, uh, so what port's that on? That's on 1433. Boom. Is that going? Okay. Is that is that working? Is that doing its thing? Is that what is that what that is? Are we unlocking it? Okay, so let's do a port hack now. Boom. Okay. Woo. This is interesting. This is an interesting way of. So we've got um, info search and random entry. Paul Riley. 
uh, back. So, info. Uh, so, this is the International Medical Records Repository of Monitoring Services, structuring a medical record system to improve record quality and an open do and to open the door to data analysts. Um, are two more realistic goals. Um, blah blah blah. Right. So, who are we looking for? We're looking for. Uh, Jonas Sandberg. Boom. Is this him? Jonas Sandberg, medical. 25. Wow, they've even gone down to hours and that. Um, it's blood type BO. Uh, no allergies. Two active prescriptions, though, bi-monthly. Um, okay, so the patient has an acute case of testicular elephantitis. Uh, first noted at age eight, treatment has been uh, applied regularly since. A great effect, uh, great effect, though swelling of affected region is incredibly noticeable. Excellent hygiene practices and continued treatment has made it manageable. Lovely. Um, let's email this record. Um, so, specify uh, so Okay, I think we're done. Do, oh, here we go. Oh, look, we now can go through all of it. Ah, we'll remove that once I've finished looking around. And then if it, Oh, that's a lot of... That's a lot of people in here. That's a lot of... That's a lot of people. Oh, look at that. Okay, let's uh, log. Uh, remove move oh all records I was never here it was a dream <laughs> okay so uh, let's disconnect uh, okay so All right, okay, these are all the ones I'm using for Shep. Okay, that's good. Uh, so what one's this? This one is 90... Okay. Let's go view logs, we'll turn that off. That's it, we'll remove all of our presents from there. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Um, Viper196. That one again. We're going to remove all of our presents from here. And uh, last one. It's our own one, so it doesn't really matter so much. But a clean, a clean logbook is a happy logbook. So we're going to do it. We're going to do it anyway. Um, okay. clicks off the screen. Here we go. We're back. We're back. <laughs> I just wanted to slightly adjust something. Uh, it always drops it down. So let's have a, have a looky, looky, spadooky in our emails. Let's see if that's... There we go. That's worked. Oh, okay. I, what, really? You actually got this from... This, it's legit, right? I mean, just, wow. Yeah, I just don't know what to believe anymore. Wow. Uh, yeah, thanks for the help, though. I'm going to reevaluate my life. <laughs> uh, congratulations, client, uh, of your recent contract. Has reported success. Current rank is 90 out of 100. New assets. Uh, a new tour has been added to your asset server. 
uh, for use. Uh, it's an it's an X server changing Unity named Theme Changer XE. You find it under. Feel free to download. Cop oh, Jesus Christ! Anyone right? Anyone that was watching uh, last session will know that that would have been. This would have probably been useful. So, uh, so the program allows for fast hot swapping of X server theme files from local and remote connected sources. Files in the remote row are remotely hosted uh, valid theme files in a currently navigated folder on a connected machine. Files in the local row are locally hosted theme files in the home and or system folder. Theme changer allows the user to select any of these and uh, will automatically download its contents onto the X server system. It will in the system folder and activate the system theme without the need for a reboot. The program will also automatically back up existing themes so that all known styles are preserved for future use. We could have done with knowing this last 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 time. Um, so yeah, SCP, isn't it? Um, theme. Let's download it. Here we go. Look at that. It's like, what what the hell? <laughs> Exit. Let's get rid of that. No. That would have been so useful. That would have saved so much fapping around last week at the end of the stream when we were looking at all of the um, doohickeys. Uh, themes. Right, uh, do, where is it gone? Where's the... It's disconnect from it. Right. Where is it? Somewhere around here. Oh, for God's sake, it's... So that's the asset server. Where is where's the, the server? Where 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 is where's the drop server? I forgot. To, I'm gonna have to go and find it now, aren't I? Um, did I lose it? I think it disappeared. Okay. Uh, let's have a look, see what else we've got. Um, teach do old dog new tricks. Uh, locate and cr or cr create a decryption software. Uh, remove a fabricated death row record. Track an encrypted file. Check out a suspicious server. Wipe clean an academic record. And that could be an easy one. Compromise the EOS drive. That's this one. Uh, poten potential friend of the group needs a degree added to his resume. Okay. Uh, what's this? Uh, a CSEC member that wishes to remain anonymous. Uh, needs a small job done. They are unable to complete this themselves for uh, anonymity and motive proving reasons. A former employer has continued to underplay and generally enforce money save saving, but employee war. The welfare compromising practices on all of his employees for some time. Uh, the agent would like his academic record wiped clean, removed, and as a part of a side project to correct his wrongs. Okay, that's an interesting one. Compromise Neo, so requests to obtain information about the target. The client believes is stored on. Yeah, screw it, let's do that one. That one sounds interesting. Jailbreak. Uh, this will be kept curt. A client has requested that we search computer and devices of a given target for what they are calling a registration 
ID. They believe it will be stored in an EOS device synced to the target's compute, home computer. Um, once you have this ID, respond here with it and we'll handle the rest. So, that's the guy's home address. That's the contact details. Don't need that one. So, let's have a look. Um, um, right, so I've got a probe. What have we got? Oh, this guy's easy. Um, uh, what was this? It's S. So we do that on port 22. Oh shit, we need to get in here quickly. Um, how many do we need? Four. other one ready to go so that when we get enough there we go and okay just need this last one to go there we go my logs okay so we disconnect back on scan the network so there is nothing connected that's all been done hmm Home. Uh, keyboard test. Uh, so that's sound in uh... Okay, so save every free credit card off you get. Um, put it in a pile. Uh, save. So. So save every free credit card off you get, put it in pile A. Save every free coupon you get, put it in pile B. Now open the credit card mail and, from pile A and find the business reply mail envelope. Take the coupons from pile B and st uh, stuff them in the envelope you hold in your hands. Drop the stuffed to the brim envelopes in your mail and walk away whistling. I have now received two phone calls from credit card companies telling me that they received a stuff envelope with coupons rather than my application. They inform me that, it, that, uh, that they are not pleased that they footed the bill for the crap I sent them. I reply with, it says business reply mail. I'm, suggest I'm suggesting coupons to you to ensure that your business is more successful. They promptly hang up on me. Now I did this for about a month before I got boring so I got an added idea. I added exactly 33 cents worth of pennies to the envelope so they paid extra due to the weight. I got a call informing me about the money. I said it was a mistake and I demanded my change back after yelling at the clerk and then, then at the supervisor they agreed to my demands and cut me a check for the mummy money. I hold in my hand at this, at this very moment a check from GTE Visa for exactly 33 cents. <laughs> Man. Oh. Oh, hello. We ain't here to do ECE. We're here to do CSE on the web. Listen to me spit these rhymes. Uh, okay, that's a that's a long one. And sounds very boring. Uh, just some data, some more data, docs, um, so what did you get up to this this weekend? Not much, Jerry was out of town again, so I guess that means you weren't home. Well, I might have ended up at Riley's house. Jane, this is getting a little out of hand. 
how long can you keep this up? I know, I know, it's just, it's hard, you know. Jerry's always away for work, and when he does come home, he's dead tired from all the travelling. I don't even remember the last time we went out anywhere, even for a coffee. Riley's is just kind of there. Uh, it's a mistake at first, but now it's turning into something. So now I'm on this conundrum, I'm going to start calling you Anatasia. Uh, okay, and it's just an inconclusive lab test. Okay. It doesn't tell me what I've got there. Hmm. That's what I need to do. I need to do the EOS. Um, report. Yeah, sorry, it just blanked out a little bit there. Um, yeah, it's because I had to quickly click on something off the screen again. Okay, right, so we found, there it is. So that's the, let's probe this system. So I need to crack three, it's only got two ports on it though. What? So, I've done that, I've done... Right, let's, let's do this again. Let's see if it comes up with something different this time. And then it comes up with that. I probe scan it, and it only has two ports to hack. Hmm. Have we done this wrong? This is, uh, this is interesting, this. Let's have a look at the emails. Flying. Yeah, it's not complete. I thought that would be a bit of a... Um, let's have a look. That's, uh, anything in our asset server? Memory corruptor. It's a sequencer. Anyone talking about the sequencer? Anyone at all talking about the sequencer? Oh, hello, there's a death row template. Um,
Anyone mentioning sequences? Anyone at all? Okay, so, <laughs> so this is um this is a fun fun thing. Uh so my dad found my porn folder and he was he was getting all pissed. So it's it's all like, does this surprise you? I'm not stupid, you know. I know dad. What do you have to say for yourselves? At this point I stare at him straight in his eyes and say, Documents and settings, Ricky, my documents, faxes, sent faxes. And he just shut up. What is it? It's his porn folder. <laughs> What's this walkthrough? Okay. So this is a walkthrough grocery simulator. Okay. Um, that's not what we want. Okay. That's not what I'm after. No. Is there anything in sequences? Anything about sequences? Um, no. Okay, let's just um, run a sequencer on it anyway. Uh, so. So I can't sequence that. Alright, let's go back to this guy's home computer then. There must be something in here. Okay. It's, it's nothing. Maybe it's hidden in that really long wrap. Oh, wait, look. Data. Data. Um, is it in this really long wrap? No. It, I, from what I can, I don't think it's in the long wrap battle. So I need to I need to get onto the device though. Get onto the so. it's cause I mean that's Sal Home Workstation, but that's LMO Eleanor Home Ram. running. I'm actually stumped on this one. I really need to go to um, let's see if we can get a different thing while we're after I bought the current. Oh yeah I'm gonna have to abort the current by the looks of it. Um, I mean, I cannot, hmm. this is not, hmm, let's have a look at this email again, let's have a look at this email again, I must be going wrong somewhere.
Okay, so I need to... Yeah, I don't, I just, mm, I don't think we're gonna, I don't think we're doing this. I'm gonna have to quit out of this one, because it's not gonna, it's not happening. I mean, there's like, um... Yeah, I mean, there's there's no, there's no other, because he wants me to crack three pulps, but there's only two pulps to crack. Um, unless I use shell on this, and try and shell it. Is that gonna work? Let's just try something. That, <laughs> I, I, I put in now uh, one, two, three, four, five for the password. I, I thought that would be two. Um, yeah, we, we're not, we're not, we're not, not doing this. We're not getting this. Yeah. I think I lack the um, the information. Gone down. Uh, you have abandoned a con uh, your current contract. As such, no longer eligible to complete it. You are now free to accept further contracts from the contract database. Right. It sucks, but I had no idea what I was doing with that. Okay. Um. So this guy wants a degree added to his resume. I reckon we could do that. Okay. Uh, it's good to have friends in high places in a digital security companies. Um, especially friends that know nothing about computer security. Uh, one such very friendly individual has recently been contacted by an agent and we need a small show of power to win him over. We'd like you to give him a new degree from his local university in Manchester. Okay. So the name's John St Stolven. He's got a master's in digital security, uh, Manchester U University, or a three or higher. Uh, remember to clear your tracks. International institutes rely on their reputation to remain relevant. You are compromising that. If they discover this, uh, they will not be forgiving. So that's uh, so we'll get that. We'll get that. Let's do it. Um, so welcome to the International Ad Date, the Academic Database Public Access Server provides centralised access to academic records from uh, every internationally recognised university in the world. The database is managed and maintained by the administrators of the secure terminal. Uh, additions from select leading universities. Blah, blah, blah. Let's have a look, see if there's anyone on here to begin with. Right, so we've got him down as a master's degree in digital marketing at the Manchester University. Okay, so let's probe this firewall. Uh, Need to crack all four of these. Okay, let's um, let's analyze. Oh god. Uh, let's do a couple of these. This does not look good. 
Um, let's do a load of these. Uh, oh god. Okay, uh, solve. A. Uh, A. C. A. D. E. M. I. C. Okay. One, four, three, three. F T. Okay. Do that. Twenty one. Okay. Get the web one. Get, get the web worm ready to go. The minute one's gone. There we go. That's going. Uh, okay. We've got fifty. Eight seconds to, to do this last one. Okay, once once these are done, we can do the port hack and get in. Okay, here we go. Okay, uh, let's see that. Just remove these logs. Okay. Okay, so actually if we disconnect, we can then reconnect uh, without a timer running. Lovely. Ah. Uh, okay, so academic data. If you are logged out if you are logged out for maintenance, the password for the server is tectonic for the current security cycle. Info. Yes. Okay. Who is it? It's John. Okay. How do I edit file? Um, hmm. Okay, so we've got um, folder name, move the folder, Let's see, help to. What else we've got? Get given a hmm. Is it append? Okay, right, here we go. So So are we adding it or um, Okay, let's um do that then. Uh well Uh, what do I do? It's append. So it's append. Right, I can't do it for me. I need to head out. So AP. Maybe I need to right, 
Um, interesting because I have no idea how I'm meant to be doing this um, just have a look on the assets server quickly might be something on the asset server templates uh, okay So here we go. So for this, it's um, okay. So flag the file as active in your operating system. Right. So we need to get a copy really first. Um, So, uh, was it SCP? John. Back into one of our own computer. Oh, actually, that's um, so remove all of that. Okay. Okay. So this is a lot more in depth than some of the previous stuff. So what was it they were saying to do? So. Okay, so, um, so you download a copy of copy, edit it locally, then rename it to fit the scheme before inserting it into the database. So, example, uh, Doe John one one two three four five. Because you're you're likely to want to replace all of the wildcards in the template file, you should use the quick replace shortcut. So you flag the file as active in your operating system. Okay, so you do the cat command, use replace without adding in the file name. Um, so you do that. Uh, continue step two until the file looks the way you want it. Rename the file, upload the file. Okay, right, let's, let's do this. Let's, let's do this. Um, I think we could be set here while waiting for these all, all these logs to go. Templates different. Okay, so uh, let's get that and yeah, 
to get that as well. Just get rid of all of that. Done and done. Um, how are we doing for time? Okay, let's uh, go on and have a look at our files. Yep, I will take a drink. Hydration bot, don't you worry. Oh. Lovely. Oh, I, my chair is indeed sinking, isn't it? Yep. Oh dear. Okay, so home. Get that all up, so that's all. Some cats. Okay. Okay, so. So we want to replace masters in digital digital marking to so it's a uh, replace so uh, boom oh god so much typing help if I actually put marketing not some weird thing You gotta be kidding me. After all that, I. I wonder if I can just do, put it down to marketing and. Can I do it this way? Oh, I can. Lovely. Can do it that way. Okay. Maybe I can do that actually while on there. Do it while actually on their system then. I can't remember what replace file is. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. So that's move. I'm pretty sure there was a, a replace. Okay. Okay, let's, let's uh, just go in. Hurry. Do it this way. Do it actually on on there. Done. Um. Yeah, that, that looks good to me. Logs. Move all that shite. Boom. So, hopefully, if I search for him, it should now, now show.
Oh, I could have fucking done it that way. Oh, you got to be fucking kidding me. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Well, at least I know. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm going to have to... Um... I mean, then again, did they want me to change? Oh, actually, I'll tell you what. Okay, we'll do that, and we'll add a degree to... So I reckon that's actually what they want me to do. So, I mean, at least we now know how to edit files. the future so make it free make it a straight free uh, 3.0 free uh, free 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 oh god free point oh okay uh, free Two, two, one. So, right, I'll we'll just stick with three then. Done. Back. Exit. Logs. Uh, uh, boom. Let's go to my own computer. And I'm going to get rid of uh, uh, Get rid of that. Don't want that shit on my. Get that shit off my PC. <laughs> okay, so that should be that sorted for them. Why? What's wrong? What's wrong with it? Why? What do you not like? What have I done wrong? Fine, I'll go back and I'll remove the other one. Jesus Christ, I mean, this really puts you... Boo, boo, boo. Right, has that, has that done it? Are we are we good now? Is that what you want? Why, what's wrong? What do you want? What do you want from me? Okay, right. Uh, why is this not accepting? Okay, right, so.
maybe I need to give him a higher higher grade. Maybe that's what it is. I need to give him a higher grade. I'll give him a two. Uh, Go with that. Oh shit. Okay. Logs. Uh, disconnect and see if that's acceptable for him. Why? Why? What's wrong? Why? What have I, have I misspelt something along the way? Have I misspelt something? So. Oh yeah, I've misspelt Manchester. Uh, that's what happens when I try and type things fast. That's better. Safe return. Back. Exits. Logs. Remove. Logs. Okay. Oop. Oh, so hot today as well. Uh, could have done without this. <laughs> now are you working? Is this is this good? No. Oh, for f is it because? Hmm. Did I need to add another? Did I need to add it? check I've got everything spelled correctly. That's that. That should be everything back to how it was. Oh, shit. Let's see if that works. And if it doesn't, why? Why are you not working? Why are you no work? Ah. Uh. Right, we're gonna. I'm gonna have to get rid of. Not do this one either. Fuck. Um. Tch, tch. 
at the site I am bought in this one. Are we not going to actually pass a contract today or something stupid? Have I got... I bet I've gone down the listings. No, I haven't. Okay. Uh... Okay, locate a, a ca new com company came out come out with some new file encryption software and has locked up a bunch of previously very open codes to us with it. The algorithm doesn't seem as bad as what we've faced in the past, but there is no solver uh, out for it yet. His contracts will have you solve the problem, however, uh, however you want. But we need the file decryption. Fuck it, we'll try that. I mean, what, what, what's the worst that can happen? Okay. Uh, DEC Solutions has recently finished their new DEC encryption suite. Basically a file encryption package. Uh, we have a file that we want to look at, but it's been locked by this encryption. I've thrown a copy of, of it up on our Crossroads server, a non-secure dumping ground for all CE. CSEC users as encrypted source.dec. DEC is the file extension uh, that new encryption generates, by the way. Um, you might want to take a look at the files file itself first. Uh, the company website is pretty barren of anything useful, but if you dig a bit, you might find something to help. Once you're in, try scanning to see if the network goes deeper. Once you have it decrypted, upload it to the CSEC drop server. Crossroads. Drop server. Solution contact details. Okay. So that's them. That's them. That's them. So I have to hack on to my, our own file sharing server. Uh, Jesus Christ, they make you work for it, these people. Jesus, a lot, that's a lot of that. Uh, got a load of IRCs. Requested it. Oh. Okay, so. Um, okay. Let's get, get a copy of that. Done. So we need to investigate DEC Solutions corporate network. Uh, find a method to of deck file decryption. Decrypt the file at CSEC crossroads. Upload the decrypted file. Okay. So data solutions. Check your company secrets. Blah 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 blah. Let's uh, probe, probe these. So they've got a firewall. Doing a load of analyze. Would help if I spell it properly. But here we go. We'll do a load of ana analyze. Okay. I think we've got a solution now. Which is uh, E N C. R, uh, y, oh, uh, yeah, Y, P, T. Five. Hmm. 
What did I put last time for the solution? Chemists. Oh, is it solve? That's why. about that but yeah let's get all this going okay oh at least a couple of quite nice gentle ones both for some reason that last one not I don't know why mm. okay Right, we're in, so we'll just do a port hack. Right, so a few salts. Oh dear. Um, okay, home. Just point scan. Oh, we have got another another one to go to. Um, let's see. Uh, Sixty-seven percent of guys are students. I belong to the other thirteen. Um, get up, get on up, get up, get on and dance. Um, okay, so I'm going to become rich and famous after I invent a device that allows you to stab people in the face over the internet. Uh, that's kind of true. Yeah, you probably would this. Is there any way I can tell the world I'm an idiot? Of course, you just type in your name, where you live and and your confession, KK. <laughs> so he's typed his name, where he is, and he's an idiot. Put a question mark, I've asked now what, and the other guys. It's good, don't worry, it's done. Uh, I hated going to weddings. All, all the grandmas would poke me saying, you're next. They stopped that when I started doing it to them at funerals. <laughs> uh, invalid characters. What's this one? Uh, the animals will hear, bellowed the ear licking penguin, as the awesomely endowed mid midget sucks at perusing Charlie's and plucked his purple middle leg into. Oops, wrong window. What the fuck? Uh, yeah, exactly. What the actual fuck is that? Read me. Haha, <laughs> made you look. Uh, staff memo. Ooh, that's... Uh, oh, these are all encrypted. New policies. Uh, in the bin. Okay. Let's remove this. We'll have a look at the next the next one. Okay, let's pro probe this. See what we got. Okay. So let's do the web. Just work our way up. Six, five, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five. You know, I have to crack all five of them. Um, oh, memory. I forgot that's a big one. That's a big, big program to run. It's a big boy. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, so there's nothing nothing further on here. So nothing in there. Uh, hey, if you type in your password, it will show you as stars. See. Uh, type <laughs> hunter. It doesn't look like stars to me. That's what I see. Oh, really? Absolutely. You can go to Hunter 2, my Hunter 2 in Hunter 2. Haha, <laughs> does that look funny to you? Uh, lol, yes, see, when you type Hunter 2, it shows me, it shows, uh, shows to us as, that's neat, I didn't know IRC did that. Yep, no matter how many times you type Hunter 2, it will show as stars. Awesome, wait, how do you know my password? Uh, I just copy pasted your and it appears to you as Hunter 2 because it's part. Uh, okay. Yeah, don't don't believe that one, guys. That's that's a that's a, that's a lie. Okay. Oh, uh, that's my log bin stuff. Oh, here we go. There we go. So these are all decrypted. Yeah, decrypted, decrypted. Oh, this side? Oh. So. Okay, uh, got it, thanks for showing me earlier. I've s sent a copy off to some of the others to see if they can get anything useful out of it, thanks for the great work. So David, uh, I've been looking through the code that we got back from the contracts for the encryption and it's, well, it's unbreakable really. Uh, 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 unbreakable, really. Oh, it's breakable, really breakable, like dangerously so. I wrote a program to do it so I could show you and I've sent it over. You'll probably want to delete that uh, and this memo once you've seen what it can do. To run it, just hit the command line like I showed you like this, decrypt a file name. If you want to put the part, want to use a password to add that after the file name, you know, I might just show you in person. Okay. Who did he send that to? He sent that to David. Who? Um, wait a minute. Who? Uh. Who? Who sent that to him? Though that's the question. Personal notes. Oh, that's all decrypted. Staff memo. Uh, greetings. First of all, congratulations on the successful launch of our new encryption suite. It's been a huge success, and I hope you all, you're all as excited by the new marketing material as I am. As DEC Solution becomes a more prominent force in worldwide software development, I feel that we as a company need to step up to the plate and start holding ourselves to a higher standard. Uh, I don't know why there's a, like a big line break between there. Uh, to this end, I'm enforcing a few new policies within the company that I hope you'll all come to love and appreciate as workflow improvements. I think uh, I re they really are. Um, the new policies will come through in a few days when I finalise them. Until then, you're as you were. New policies. Uh, here are the new policies I promised a few days ago. Read them well. So sensitive company data, source code, confidential memos should be encrypted at all times uh, when not being worked on. And and does what better software for this than our own? You've, you've seen the website. I'm sure you can understand how this will make our business a more secure, trusting place. I've already started this with my own files, some very important ones. I've even double encrypted it like using two condoms, even if one breaks somehow, you're still safe. <laughs> what? Uh, 
Uh, when encrypting files, you should be fine to go passwordless most of the time, but if you feel something's of critical importance, use your company ID on it as a password. For example, my safety encryption safely encrypted files use my ID D letter okay uh, built of encryption suites are to be kept offline at all times it's the age of digital security you can't be too careful okay thank you for not encrypting that memo mate uh... ah here it is here's the XC um, done that. Yeah, he's got all that as well. Okay. So I want that. I want a copy of that. So, um, Cypher XE complete. Uh, what did he say to do? Okay. Okay, so um, so let's decipher some of these guys. to do a cap capital. Um. Okay, let's see. Let's see what this... Okay, right, okay. Um, who's... Okay, so he wants a password as on it. Um, um, it's that in his password thing. Here we go, it's decoding. I just want to know what, what, what all these notes are. <laughs> probably probably totally wasting time doing it, but hey, why I'm in, I might as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, hello, we've got a second layer. Also requires a password. Okay. So nice of the guy to say what his password is, though. Very nice of him. I'm concerned Kathy here might have a thing for me. I don't blame her. I've also seen my chiseled face on occasion. It's a stu it is stunning. I should install some uh, more mirrors. It's of, of the utmost importance to stay professional about this. I'm making a note here now such that in the event that she attacks me in a fit of sexual envy, it's been documented that I am an innocent party. Okay, do whatever. Um. Uh. So I get rid of 
rid of that. So I don't know. I've been looking through that. Um, lawsuit. Let's have a see what the lawsuit's about. Yep, again it requires a password. Oh dear, this guy though, this guy, he he really he really trusts his software. A little bit too much. Okay. Oh my god, what's with this fucking two, three bloody layer security going on here? Uh, he's definitely gonna password this one if he's if he's done if he's done, had if he's gone through all this security, he's definitely used the same password on both levels. You just know it. Uh, Mr. Lowe, regarding your recent letter, I've discussed the matter with our legal team and they have assured me that your double, du double banging, that is your application of two condoms instead of, of the recommended one, uh, represents such a significant departure from our recommended usage instructions that you have no legal grounds for class action regardless of your incredibly high rate of breakages. Uh, we recommend that you follow the recommendation recommended procedure in the future. Best wishes to you and your 12 children. Wow, this guy, I mean, is this guy meant to be a bit of a dumbass? Because he's, he's coming across as a bit of a dumbass. Uh, yeah, he's definitely coming across as a dumbass. Okay, so that's... Um, Battle gun. Let's have a look. See what what other lovely stuff we got. Um, okay, so we've got all these decipher uh, ones. Let's decipher XE test builds. Okay, let's have a look. Let's see what you've got. See, have you passworded it? No, no way have you passworded it. Um, let's get another one queued up while we're waiting. So that's the cipher XE. Um, let's have a look at this text. Uh, David, I've been looking through the code. Uh, we got back from the uh, Right, so that's the, that's the first mail then. So uh, we'll move. that um do that one and we'll get that one ready to go and I can just activate it Damn it. Did it too early This, uh, 
Okay, got it, thanks, blah, blah, blah. That's it. Sure thing, do you really need to add CEO to at the end of everything you send me still? Um, okay. Okay, this is the summary of the so header message, link message data summary. Remove. Uh, remove the CS and remove that. So we've done that one. Some decent digging going on here. Um, Get the other, other one ready to go. Um, that's going. Uh, that's just a load of zero, zeros and ones. Bin. Yeah, so that can go. Bin. Go. Lovely. It's all being hidden. So that's a test build. Important memo. Notes. A needed. Right, okay, so. That one, then we'll do the notes. Um, got queued up, ready to go. Okay. Is that done? Boom, let's do that. Um, Hey Kathy, can you do another coffee run today? I'll be back at the office at three, thanks. Remember your encryption. Is that really needed? Really? Uh, notes, running low, graph paper, company shirts, coffee, coffee mugs, uh, mirrors. Why is David ordering so many? Okay. Hey, Kathy, I've decided that installing a few mirrors would boost personal morale. Uh, can you arrange to have another, say, six fitted around the place? I think it would really liven up the place. Okay, let's uh, remove. Let's text. Move that. Uh, remove. all that and let's remove all of that I think we're going to be here a while waiting for this all to, to uh, be removed okay so the port's being open okay Should be right. That's all that. So DC from there. Go back to here. Let's see, let's have a. Is there anything interesting in here? Uh, no policies. Test build. No, that was it. 
Um, nothing, nothing of interest. Uh, boom. Let's go to mine. File system. See what this comes out with. Hopefully, there's no password. Oh no, there, there isn't a password on it, that's why it's decrypted. It's good to know. Okay. Okay, so encrypted source CS. So, private static string, crypt and short, blah blah blah. Starting string, blah, it's all that. Okay, so uh, upload the encrypted file to the drop server. Okay. Okay, files downloaded with uploads. Right. Can't remember upload, upload. Okay, so that's download. SCP is download. Um Upload. It literally is upload. Upload. Home. Encrypt. So see. Boom. There we go. Upload is up. There. Should this should be all right? Yes, we actually did one. We actually did a did a contract. Ah, oh, thank Christ for that. So the client on your recent contract uh, has reported success and is pleased with your work. So I'm now 80 out of 100. That's good to know. Right, so let's see what else we've got. Okay. Uh, remove fabricated. Uh, this is a clean-up job to remove some false information a hacker planted in the death row database. For reasons unknown, a, a false application, uh, a, a false duplicate record has been added to the death row records, likely as some sort of identity theft or grief plan. Would like the false record removed. Yeah, we can do that. Okay. Uh, but this contract has been at, uh, has been added by an anonymous CSEC member, but it may be possible to discern the sp sponsor's identity through this contract. CSEC requests that, as always, you respect the privacy and anim anonymity of its members by not doing so. Contact contract. Uh, Death Row Record is and is for one Joseph Fellman. Uh, it is a clear duplication of Alvana Curry record which is clearly the original delete the Joseph Fellon record from the database its presence there not only presents risk to any and all real Joseph Fellman but is an insult to the original statement made by Mr Curry correctness okay we'll get that so which, where are we going here? Okay. Death Row executed offenders listing. This database exists to preserve and curate details of the executed offenders on Death Row, including, but not limited to, their final statements and offence details. So we need a Joseph Fellman. Hmm. 
Oh, wait a minute. Uh, CP EF. Felman Joseph. Felman jo 32. I pray with the help of God that you will forgive me for the pain I've caused your family. I'm truly sorry. I wish I could take it back, but I just pray and ask to forgive me. So, who was that? A imposter of? Um, Alva Curry. I'm just, you know, double checking. Double checking there. Yeah, that is, that's definitely a. Okay. Uh, let's probe them. Uh, firewall. Let's do a couple of, uh, of these. It's A uh, H S U N Y A and G. Oh, I've got it. Okay. A H S U N Y A G Okay, that has worked. Um some eighty, so we put a web worm on an eighty. We need to crack all three of these. 21 and 1433. If I remember rightly, that's quite a big one, so I need to. Boom, there we go, now we can do. Okay, got 40 seconds. The question is, is whether we can get in. And uh, okay, okay. View logs. Move all of that. Okay. Uh, as director of this program, I'm trying to log into this computer that I'm meant to be in control of and the IT... Oh, let's disconnect. Okay, let's try that. Okay. Secure. Okay, so, as director of this program, I'm trying to log into this computer that I'm meant to be in control of and the IT staff have changed the password again. Uh, this has happened far too many times and is costing our company a val my valuable time. From now on, the password here should be kept as Texas, as choice, a choice I made personally. I'm storing this memo in a secure location for future reference. I've put a date on it so that it can be used as legal material if you insist on wasting my time in the future. Do not make me repeat this. So, that guy's a bit parsy. In system database. So for details, data blah 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 blah. Vendors, death row, blah blah blah. Okay, so records. Who am I looking for? Joseph. So remove. Fell. Bellman Joseph. Yeah. Done. Uh, log. Boom. I 
should be done. That should hopefully... Yeah, that's done. So that's uh, another successful one. We're now 70 of 100. Okay, lovely. Let's do another another one quickly. Now we wait for time. Okay. So we do another. We'll have another another one. See if we can do that, and that will be the last one for today's stream. Uh, as I said it was only going to be a short stream today. So um, track an encrypted file. Uh, we think we've located a way to track down where DC encrypted files were encoded. We have a password locked file and once it's opened there should be enough leads for you to go on. Yeah, let's go on that. A fruit for spy class. Apparently DC encrypted files store their IP um, they were encoded at with some uh, misc messages in the encoded headers, presumably for the debug purposes or something, but to, to us it looks like a wide open security vulnerability, which is great because we have something we need decoded and we have no idea what the password for it is. So first step, find a way to read these headers. Uh, we had a bit of a dig around and found out that the DEC Solutions employees might have a way to decode headers without knowing the password of a file. Uh, go take a look around on his end and reply if you find anything useful. Okay. So we've got that uh, Joseph Scott's battle station. Okay. Let's probe this system gonna have oh it hasn't got anything uh, I need to do t uh, three so I'll do the ones that I can run all at the same time okay I'll be there Almost, almost, boom. There we go. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Empty. IRC, IRC. Okay, let's have a look. So IRC, Dragonfly. A woman has, has a close male friend. Uh, this means that he's probably interested in her, which is why he hangs around so much. He sees him strictly as a friend. This always starts out with you, a great guy, but I don't like you in that way. This is roughly the equivalent for the guy of going to a job interview and the company saying, you have a great resume, you have all the qualifications you are, we are looking for, but we are not going to hire you. We will, however, use your resume as a basis of, for comparison for all other applicants. But we're going to hire somebody who is far less qualified and is probably an alcoholic. And if he doesn't work out, we'll hire someone else. Uh, but still not you. In fact, we'll never hire you, but we'll call you from time to time to complain about the person that we hired. I'm not, I'm not gonna say anything about that. Um, disagree with some of it. Read, thank you for making the cursory purchase of Grocery Simulator 2011. Grocery Simulator 20... In Grocery Simulator 2015 you must take control. The player assumes the role of a hero from one of the five different character classes. Players fight monsters through the wilderness. Okay. Uh, what's this? I got kicked out of Barnes and Noble once for moving all the Bibles since that. Uh, that's, that's one fact we've had before. New folder data. Ooh, hello. What's all this? Work. Decipher. Uh, this is seriously getting out of hand. First, the problems with actually being able to break the encryption without the proprietary tool. Now this. Uh, reading the headers is still a big problem. There's the encode source IP in there, which, yeah, is still a huge security concern. Thanks very much. I don't care how much easier it makes your debugging sessions and client relationships. 
Well, here's some more working proof that you've got problems. I'll let you let the dust settle on the first bombshell, then throw this into the ring. Two. Uh, at once might get me fired, but best hold on to this till things calm down a bit. Oh, dechead.exe. Why do you cause me so many problems? I guess it's more just outsourcing your in general. Why am I blogging into a text file? Uh, painkillers. Okay, hello. Um, so, I guess we. <laughs> Um, we'll be getting that then. Okay. Anything else? Okay, let's uh, start doing some tidying up, shall we? Okay, so what was it they actually want me to do? Oh, right, okay, that is literally what I had to do. Okay, that's good. Uh, neat, got uh, got something good. All right, the file we're looking at uh, is up on the cross Crossroads CSE encode1.dc. We named it so people wouldn't go messing with it. It was originally named WinC Firmware Specs when we got, got it, if that helps. Anyway, read the headers of what of that, find out where it was encoded and go track the password down. Reply to this and the password, blah, 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 blah. Okay, let's, um, okay. Um, so we're SCPing it and it was a uh, C S one. Okay, transfer complete. Okay, onto my own computer then. Um, so what axis do we have? It was the DC head, isn't it? It's a DC head. DC head C. Oh, wrong button. <laughs> uh, C. That's the one. Let's have a look. Headers. Okay. So that's the source IP. Do that again, so that was uh hmm. Alright, it's there. Uh connect. Um we want one six eight. So it's one six eight six one eight two two four five Microsoft work or server. Probe the system. Oh, is that it? That's 80. Do, 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 do. 1433. Three. Let's just slowly get our way through all of this, shall we? Just need to wait for these to finish their uh, mumbo jumbo. Okay. 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 Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay, that went a bit quicker than I thought it would. files. So we've got work lot, right, okay, let's have a new folder, empty, empty, what's this, um, right, Brendan, okay, shopping list, Muffin, Blambaba, Moraki, Could be a password. Cat valid character file. Bin work blocks. Hmm. Ah, this all looks. So what is it we're looking for? Okay. Right, so there's nothing. I really think this shopping list has something to do with it. Well, hmm. This is interesting. So, MBM SMMA, maybe? I don't know. That to me looks like a list of passwords. all these as notes. Um, yeah, so it's capital, capital, capital. I think there's going to be a bit of uh, manual us having a look through its file. So we're going to do a decipher. I'm going to try the password of M B M S. See if that works. No. Okay. Um, uh, M B M 
S M M I. No. Okay. Okay, so lemon stealing whore. Serious business documents. Uh, oh, wait a minute. What did I say it was called? Originally. Called Win CE Firmware Specs. Win CE Firmware Specs. I think we're on to it now. Um, no. Oh, here you go. Beep, beep. It's just, um, Beep. I think that is literally what it is. It's going to be beep beep. Now 60 out of 100. We've also got a random file to read now. Um, firmware driver development guide. Blah blah blah. You should follow him past. Blah blah blah. It's very boring. Okay. I think that's a good one to end on. So we've ended on that incredibly boring task. But uh, as I say, um, didn't want to be too long today, so um, yeah. So, oh shit, uh, let's just move into that, shall we? Yeah. So, we've done a couple of missions on there. We we have got a little bit deeper in the vet in there. I haven't been able, as I say, I do apologise for not being able to do longer, but there there are uh, I have work and stuff tomorrow, and I have things to sort. So, um, yeah. So I think that's pretty much where we're going to finish today. Um, and um, yeah, so thank you very much everyone for watching today. Um, for some reason my dashboard is not refreshing. Um, yeah, why is that not? But yeah, okay, so I'm going to try and work out why uh, certain things aren't working. And um, yeah, so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye.